Time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says police officers in Ferguson, Missouri are now wearing body cameras. Officers wore the recording devices at a march for Michael Brown on Saturday. As you know, Brown's killing at the hands of Officer Darren Wilson touched off weeks of violent protests. The department was criticized for lack of transparency in the wake of the shooting. About 50 body cameras were donated after the deadly confrontation. The New York Times says President Obama and NATO leaders are expected to sign a major pledge against cyber attacks this week. For the first time, an attack on any of the 28 NATO nations could be declared an attack on all of them. But NATO officials admit they have no strategy on how to strike back against a computer attack. The Washington Post says the ban on Russian-made AK-47 assault rifles is setting off a buying frenzy. Imports of the rifles were stopped in July as part of the sanctions against Moscow for moving into Ukraine. One Maryland dealer sold out 36 hours after the ban went into effect. Some customers bought up to 10 rifles at $1,000 apiece as an investment. Wow. USA Today says a Kurdish oil tanker carrying $100 million in disputed oil vanished off the coast of Texas. The ship was anchored 60 miles offshore, headed for Galveston, when it disappeared from the radar. Iraq filed a suit in U.S. courts claiming it owned the oil, not the Kurdish government. That suit was denied last week. The Coast Guard says the ship may have moved beyond U.S. antennas or even turned off its transmitter. And the Houston Chronicle looks at a mocking tweet from the account of Texas Governor Rick Perry. Perry says the tweet was not authorized. The tweet ridiculed Rosemary Lemberg, the Democratic district attorney at the center of Perry's criminal indictment on abuse of power charges. That tweet was deleted, and Perry tweeted that he did not condone the original tweet.